I've compiled a list of around 40 good old content creators on YouTube. Whether you're looking to learn something new, stay updated or discover fresh content, this video has you covered. We'll explore channels with just a few subscribers as well as those with thousands and even millions of followers. Let's dive right in. Heliware 3 has an interesting collection of tutorials on how to create a fighting game, also some dev vlogs, Einbart has also interesting tutorials, by the way have quite interesting video quality video editing, you can just judge, judge this by the amazing thumbnails that he creates. The yellow dude also has some good old tutorials and even one video that quite got my attention of tools for game development in 2024 and he even has a whole introduction to uh, good old development. Malcolm has uh, good old XR videos. Tandra also has some good old tutorials that could be worth taking a look at. The next source also has super super good video tutorials, including a full platformer course of over 3 hours, how to optimize Godot, and much more other things. Shopek also uh, has some uh, tutorials on VR games in Godot, and also some videos talking about uh, netcode. Fencer Develop has mostly tutorials only in Godot 3D. For example, in how to create some specific shaders, post-processing, and well, also how to create some particles. So actually, it is a channel completely focused on visual effects for Godot. Bacon and Games has a little bit of everything related to Godot. He has some news, for example, here talking about Godot 4.3. He also has uh, some videos on shaders. Also some more basic uh, tutorials, for example, over here. I have consumed his content personally and was also quite quite good quality. Hubel is mostly focused on creating different tutorials. As you can see he posts also quite frequently so it is interesting taking a look at frequently at his channel. Developer Ezra has some uh, full courses or well longer tutorials so they cover a lot of interesting information. And as you can see, it seems that previously he wasn't completely a without developer. So he also has a broader picture on game development, software, engineering, etc. So probably he can provide insightful pieces of content. Game Devartition has also some tutorials on the without engine. He also has some uh, devlogs, okay? I also wanted to mention myself, not for self-promotion, but just to show you a little bit what I do over here. Basically, I post mostly about everything that I can find insightful for the Godot community, from longer courses, about the latest updates on the engine, and literally, I think that I am the one that posts the more, the most amount of content. So, literally, here you will find everything related to the Godot engine. Arimus is also other channel that I consume a little bit. And he also posts this quite frequently, his videos are quite interesting because he also shows his face while talking at the camera. So it is something that actually makes videos quite a little bit more dynamic than other videos that you may find out there. And he once again has a variety of content. He has more general game development uh, videos, as well as uh, some uh, dev vlogs. Freddy mostly focuses on creating shorter content, as you can see, his videos aren't usually uh, lasting for more than 5-6 minutes. He doesn't really have a lot of content, but the content that he has is actually quite interesting, the points of views that uh, he, he supports. Uh, well, his videos are usually fast-paced, so you are able to learn a lot or to consume a lot of content in a short amount of time. Bastian in the last years has been focusing completely on without XR, but well, if we go to his uh, previous videos, we will also find some tutorials uh, mostly related to uh, Godot 3D, for example, over here. But well, the core of his channel, as you can see, has always been XR. Mr. Liptich is also other creator that has a little bit of everything. He has some updates on the latest Godot um, versions, also some things about uh, add-ons for Godot, UI design in Godot full courses, 
and well he also has some videos on game juice basically on particles and how to make the games a little bit more satisfying for example he has this video uh, over here also over here and i think that he even has a whole course a paid course in udemy about how to make games uh, as juicy as possible Mary wolf is also the channel that is mostly focused on a good old vr but well, he also has some other alternative content, for example, how to organize uh, indie game development to the platformer course and even how to ex export for different platforms. Maker Tech is mostly focused on good old tutorials. And if you go to the end of the channel, you will see that there are even quite old videos on Arduino or something like that. So it seems that the creator indeed has a lot of knowledge on lots of different things besides just good old time game development so it is quite quite interesting but yes as you can see in, mo in the most cases his tutorials uh, are about good old and uh, there are even full courses as you can see here of creating an action rpg with different parts and then mina has tons tons of different videos and tutorials on the good old engine as you can see it is amazing the amount of content that uh, there is some stuff may not be directly uh, related to good old, but well, she still has, you can see, a lot of content that you could uh, check out. But well, for example, here we have a video on how to create good UIs in good old, and also as you can see, the video editing is quite, quite good and interesting. Some 3D videos, for example, how to create a 3D movement. Juiz is a creator that I particularly like a lot because he always creates quite short tutorials usually okay because for example recently he uploaded a 20 minute video but as you can see all the rest of his videos are quite quite short and he usually focus, focuses on teaching one thing uh, as fast as possible and as clear as possible and I think that he actually always achieves that okay because his explanations are easy and straightforward for everybody. Next in the list is Big Dev. Once again he does have some uh, good old tutorials and also more general game development videos such as this one over here then we have fine point cgi who always creates as you can see super super long videos but at the same time super insightful about different things in good old. and even sometimes it seems that he's using c sharp for example over here we see a full course on c sharp language using good old 4.2 and as it says here, according to this, he has been a software developer for over five years, so he does have interesting experience and knowledge. We also have here Heart Beast, who, for example, here he has a, a super long course that are actually well divided in dozens of different parts on how to create um, a space shooter. And also he has some videos on shaders, for example, this one over here for absolute beginners of only 13 minutes, then this one over here. And you also have here other course of 15 parts on how to create a platformer. Here we have other platformer. Well, the Game Development Center does have some similarities, let's say, because he also uploads courses in this way of having different parts published. But well, he also has here some other uh, good old tutorials that are quite interesting. It is a pity the fact that most of the tutorials are quite updated, as you can see, they are a little bit old. And lastly, he hasn't been publishing for something like two years. But well, it's most of this information, at least the core of it, I think that it is still usable. Then we have Guido Niers, who doesn't really have a lot of videos, but um, he still has interesting uh, pieces of content. For example, here we have this one on states machi machines how to build good UI uh, interfaces inside of Guido's and actually well his aesthetics of the videos is quite unique as you can probably see over here in the thumbnails and even at the beginning uh, of some of the uh, videos then DevWorm is also other content creators that I uh, usually consume because his video quality how he edits his videos how he talks it is quite interesting and it's actually well done and he's also created that post uh, quite frequently. As you can see, nine days ago we had a new video, two weeks ago, three weeks ago, four weeks ago, etc. So he usually provides one video weekly. Not only does he has content on Good Oat, um, but also more general videos about Good Oat. For example, how to decide if Good Oat is right or not. Um, 
Also, for example, uh, the best without the games, the future of Guido, so he also has some kind of discussion videos, etc. We also have Lucky over here, that is also a, a channel that posts about everything about Guido. He even has here this amazing guide with all the notes explained, as well, uh, at least all the notes that existed nine months ago. Um, so yes, as you can see, if I do this, you will see that well, he has content on lots and lots of topics uh, inside of Godot. Even as you can see, full tutorials on uh, 3D. Stay at home dev, I, I personally knew this guy from his videos on the best games of Godot. As you can see, have interesting amount of views. Um, and also his videos are amazing, both quality, storytelling, literally everything. Also his tutorials, I haven't really been following his tutorials lastly. But I have saw, I have seen some uh, quite previous, okay? Uh, but yes, I can say that uh, the, the amount uh, of information that he gives away in each of the videos, at least in the tutorials, is just amazing. Play with First to Fair is also a channel that is quite, quite good. We even have here videos on the um, projects that they are creating or that they have created. Some um, good old tricks as well. Jackie Coates is also other YouTube channel that is quite interesting. Uh, she has some videos on procedural generation over here. Also, she does some live streaming. And she was also well, making a lot of content when everything about the Unity debacle was happening, okay? Coco Code is also other channel that I consume a lot. It is a pity the fact that he's not able to publish so, so, so frequent. Um, but well, he still has uh, full videos on Widout. He um, he was previously a Unity developer, but well, he was also creating some uh, Widout content lastly. Um, but well, the, the few videos that he has on Widout are uh, quite, quite interesting. For example, uh, this one on how to begin with uh, creating uh, user interfaces in Widout, how to implement C Sharp, how to create your first game over here with these two videos. Then we also have Kids Can Code. Uh, oh, he has a lot of videos on, I believe that mostly related to a uh, good old in 3D. But what I remember that the first time that I met this channel uh, was when I wanted to create this circle jump game. As you can see, well, it has tons of parts. So indeed, uh, even though the information could be quite useful, probably most of his content is outdated. So, well, it is a pity. Game Endeavor is usually here sharing the devlogs of the game that he is currently creating uh, in Godot. And also he used to upload some uh, tutorials in Godot as well. We also have Dev Duck, who for example, this video was quite interesting on how to organize a, a super long project that he has inside of Godot. And well, uh, how he does to balance in the game development and having a full-time job at the exact same time. So this is information that you don't usually find uh, on YouTube. Um, and well, he does give this information, which is amazing. For example, here, uh, a similar video to one that we saw at the beginning of the video on the tools that he uses to create games. How he built a productivity app in Godot. We have Born CJ next. Whose videos are mostly focused once again in good old uh, 3D. But he also, for example, here two years ago, he used to upload this uh, course on how to build a, a 2D platform that, as you can see, has over 35 parts. So uh, you're going to be able to find this video for like something for more than two years that he was building this course. So it is a super complete course, but well, maybe uh, right now it is quite outdated. Clear code, what, what is actually pretty well about this channel is the introduction to Grout 4 of over 12 hours of free content and also a video that he uploaded quite recently, let's say two months ago, um, which is a Metroid inspired platformer of six hours. So you have here mostly 20 hours of free content on the Grout engine. You probably know game from scratch, but well, if you don't know him, he posts about everything, not only about Grout, but also things that have to do with unity uh, he always he was also posting about uh, adobe when there was a lot of things happening with adobe he was also posting that the 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 latest and more latest news of everything oh well he is someone that actually posts a lot of content as you can see today he has published two videos or even three videos um well he's always here uh 
posting as much content as he can. And well, I also think that, that I don't have to speak too much uh, about GD Quest. The same thing that happens with brackets, okay? I don't think that I have to explain much. So indeed, these were all the creators that I was able to find online the, that had some content on Goodout. Of course, there, there could also be more and more people, but well, this video is, is just right now too, too long. So imagine if I wanted to add more people. All the links to their channels are in the description down below. And if you want to see more similar content, make sure that you are subscribed to the channel. See you in the next one and bye bye.